things yesterday I've been wondering about choices we make in life. And often we are misguided by our own choices. We think that the greater choice I make will make all the difference in my life. Big things. But life shows that it's the smaller things in which we indulge making choices makes all the difference. At any given moment, we are in three situations, spiritually speaking. Either I can vibrate with the grosser or I can vibrate with the highest. And third is remain status quo. Do nothing. But in nature, there is nothing like status quo or doing nothing. Either you will be pushed up or pushed down. Like anything in nature, it requires an effort to make things better, to transform anything. It requires an input of a higher order. If you don't have the passion to change and transform ourselves, we will not be exerting ourselves for this transformation. In the absence of exertion, external effort or internal inspiration, one tends to go always downward. This is entropy. What is entropy? Left to things, any system, however stable, will decay. So is our human system, be it physical, be it emotional or mental, or be it spiritual. If it is left alone without doing anything, it will tend to decay. That's why at physical level we exercise, etc. At mental level we do so many other things to enrich our mind. Spiritually, we are doing our best. Most of us are meditating well. Much more is required. What do we do when we are not meditating? How we are spending those moments? Because those moments also are very decisive. How to tap into the finer frequencies of higher nature? By fine-tuning ourselves, by making ourselves even subtler than the previous state or previous moment, will ultimately lead us to the most refined state. And this craving has to be there, that I want to change. At a vibratory level, I must match with the great ones. I must cherish all these moments of transformation. If you think it's a burden to transform ourselves, then nothing will happen. So let's take advantage of every single moment and get hooked with the Master's consciousness. In simple terms, Babuji calls it as constant remembrance. Drown yourselves, create absorbency in your consciousness. It's very simple. The state that we are able to have during meditation, it is extrapolated during our day-to-day -day life. That's all. And if possible, don't try to keep it at status quo like whatever you had in the morning, no, let it escalate further, let it become more and more refined. And as it becomes more and more refined, we will be able to maintain our centeredness. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you.